Welcome to my tutorial on programming a fixture on Mastercam X3. I'm Don Coffin and let's begin. This is part four. Uh, we're going to be doing some milling. Okay, let's go into our top view. I have part of the fixture has to be cut out for this surface here. Uh, where the tattoo frame is going to protrude into the fixture. So what I'm going to do is start a new layer. Layer 10. I'm going to call this front step down. change my light uh, color of my pen to uh, green and we're going to draw a line uh, to start with uh, using our geometry of our part I want it to protrude to about here and we're going to go from here up the fixture accept it and we're going to shut off go into our level shut off our shapes and that gives us our path now I'm going to take and connect these two lines here with just an arc uh, just a clearance uh, let's say point eight this is just to clear the the step that's left over except it okay let's zoom up on it so you can see what I'm doing we're gonna trim this out. Our line's gonna instead of come down across, we're gonna have this little undercut to clear it apart. Go into trim, trim divide. Just select what you want cut off, and it goes. Okay. What's left? We can just delete. Click on it and hit the delete key. Now we have our cutter path. Let's contour, mill contour, select our chain. We need half inch end mill, coolants on, just mill bottom step. Remember, you should always put some kind of node in, otherwise, uh, you might. Uh, get confused and when you post it out it shows up in the program so you know where you are uh, I'm gonna use rapid retract you see the retract rate disappears that way it just rapids when it's done our contour parameters I like to stop one inch above the part to know my end mill is in the right spot top of the material is zero we need to go 780 deep. We're going to do this in multi passes a rough cut and a finished cut. Rough cut, since it's one, doesn't matter what it is. One finished pass, and we're going to leave on 10 thousandths for the finished pass. And we want it to do just the final depth. Uh, lead in, lead out, we're going to use that because we're using cutter top. We're going to want to be perpendicular. We use 50%. The arc radius we're not going to use, so that would be zero. And just hit the carry over button. Now I'm also, uh, since we drew it past our part, we don't have to extend the line. Uh, say OK. Actually, I'm going to redo that because, as you notice, it's not on the screen. There. Uh, we selected perpendicular, 50%, uh, zero on arc radius, and carried it over. 
and we're not using any adjust end of contour. We're going to go up in compensation type. I use wear. Okay. There's our lead in, our cut, cutter path. We'll zoom in. You'll see that we have two paths, ten thousandths away. Zoom all. We'll select them all. Let's do a verify. There's our spot drill again. Drill. Tap. Ream, drill and ream. There's our mill cuts. So okay, get out of that mode. Remember, save a lot. Uh, it's always little things that could happen. Computer crash. Make sure you're saving regularly. That's the end of this tutorial. Uh, we'll be back with tutorial five.